Hello and welcome once again to Coding with Steph, where I upload weekly Laravel videos. Today I'm going to go through Laravel starter kits, Breeze and Jetstream, and talk about the differences between them and what each one gives you as a starting point for your application. If you like this video, hit that like button, drop me a comment below, and make sure you hit subscribe and click that bell so you get notified when new videos go live. So without further ado, let's talk starter kits. So first we have Laravel Breeze. Now, if you've used Laravel UI before, Laravel Breeze essentially is an update of Laravel UI, which sets up basic login, register, and logout functionality so that you can customize it to your needs. Breeze doesn't rely on any JavaScript frameworks. Uh, it's just Laravel and Blade. It does use Tailwind, which is a CSS framework uh, for the styling. If you haven't heard of Tailwind before, it's kind of like Bootstrap. It's a CSS framework, but it's entirely made of utility classes. So rather than saying Bootstrap, you would have a button. So you give it a button class. Uh, in Tailwind, it's more, I want the background to be this color. I want this amount of padding. I want curved borders, etc., etc. I'll be covering it in more detail in future videos. Uh, but for now, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check out documentation. But as far as Breeze is concerned, why don't we go and set it up and have a look around and see what it does. So if we go into the getting started section of the Laravel docs, there's a section on starter kits. And as you can see, Laravel Breeze is listed first. And essentially to get this installed, we need a fresh Laravel installation, which I'm gonna quickly go and grab. So just here, let's say, uh, create a project called Breeze, and let that install. So we'll open this up and we will need a database for this, which I already have a database called Breeze Setup, so nice and easy there. So now we can migrate the base database and then install Breeze. And the final steps, we need to PHP Arts and Breeze install. npm install and npm run dev. Great, done. Okay, so let's go to breeze.test and here we have our base installation of Laravel. You see in the top right we have login and register route setup, templates. Just like in Laravel UI, we can register And we're logged in. Great, log out. We have forgotten password functionality. All works as you'd expect. And just to double check, I can log in with the account that I just created. So let's have a quick look into the code. Uh, so the first thing that Breeze has done is if we look in our routes, we've got a new auth routes file. And you can see all of the routes that it's set up, register, login, uh, post methods to each of these, forgot password, etc. Uh, so all of those endpoints are set up for us, um, ready to use. And you'll see the corresponding controllers right here in the auth directory in the controllers. So you'll see that to log in, the authenticated session controller is used. And in here, you see the store. This is generating, this is actually logging a user in, uh, displaying the login screen, logging out, etc. Over on the front end side, we have an auth directory in the views. And again, you'll see login, register, reset password, all of the views that Breeze needs. Uh, are in here and you'll notice that they're making heavy use of Laravel components, view components here. Um, and all of these, there's quite a few of them are set up in, in the components directory, but it is pretty easy to follow. You know, they've got a component for labels, for inputs, uh, keeps everything nice. And especially means this is using Tailwind. Um, it helps componentize everything and keep on top of 
the styling used for each of these elements. Now, the other thing I will say about this is obviously everything that we need to get started is here. And it's also published into our application so that we can edit it as we need to. So if we want to go in, add extra fields, alter what happens when you log in, when you log out, you can expand on this as you need to. It is just a starting point and there's not really much else getting in your way, which is great. So how does Jetstream differ to Breeze? Well, let's go back and have a look at the starter kits documentation and go down to Jetstream. Jetstream takes things a bit further than Breeze and it adds a lot more features than the basic authentication features that we need. So with Jetstream, you're gonna get two-factor authentication, you're gonna get session management, you're gonna get a whole profile editing front end built for you and ready to go. It sets up Sanctum for you, which is Laravel's API authentication implementation. There's account deletion, and it even has options for Teams. Now, obviously this as a package is much, much bigger than Breeze. So what Laravel have done is they've given it its own dedicated website. So if we go over to jetstream.laravel.com, you can find all the information about what it does. One of the main differences between Jetstream and say Breeze or Laravel UI is that it relies heavily on a front-end stack. It comes with two different options. You have Livewire and Blade or Inertia and View. Now this can be quite daunting when you're first looking at this, um, but I would encourage you to learn more about both of these stacks. And I'll be talking more about them in future videos. Uh, but for the time being, I'll leave links down in the description below so you can learn more right now. Broadly though, I'd say that if you're used to using Vue for your applications, uh, then go down the inertia route. Otherwise, go for live wire and blade. But for now though, let's quickly set this up and have a look around. So if we head to the installation section here, then we can get uh, installation instructions. So again, just like with Breeze, we will need a new Laravel installation. So we'll call this one Jetstream and let that install there. And then we can CD in and install Jetstream. Now we have to make our choice whether we want to use Livewire or Inertia. So if just for this demo, I'm going to use Livewire. Jetstream install Livewire and let that run. And again, we are going to need a database for this, which I already have set up. So let's close all of this down and open up our new installation. So in our end file, change that to Jetstream and we're good to go. So the final part of the installation is to run npm install, run dev and migrate our database. So we'll let that do its thing. And there we go. So let's check this out. So we can go to jetstream.test and here we are. At this stage, looks very similar to Breeze, but let's register an account. And we're in. The dashboard looks similar, but it is slightly different. If we go to the top right here, we have a profile section. And from here, we can change all of our account information, change our password, set up two-factor authentication. Uh, we can see our browser sessions and there's functionality to log out from other browsers, delete our account. Jetstream comes with a lot of features and they've been implemented really, really nicely. So let's go back and have a quick look into the code and see what we've got to play with. So back in here, you'll notice that we don't have any new controllers like with Breeze. Jetstream's keeping all of that for itself. What we do have are actions. So these are classes that take care of 
a lot of the functionality uh, validation rules here as you can see on the creator account um, so that we do have some flexibility to to customize things as we need to and on the front end side you will notice that we have quite a few different routes here for the user profile and for the auth. Now, a lot of these are very similar to what Breeze gave us. However, the individual components haven't been published to the views directory. So again, Jetstream is keeping that to itself. But in the main, we can customize things as we need to. But in the main, where I think Jetstream really fits in is for those situations where you want to get an application built really, really quickly. You've got the ability in here to make things look how you want, but realistically, there's not a huge amount that you would change from what they give you in the first place. It would be more adding features rather than altering what Jetstream has as standard. And you're totally free as well to go and build the rest of your application. You don't have to use the front end stack that Jetstream is using, but you can still keep it running with your application perfectly happily, taking care of your users' needs while you concentrate on building your application. Now there is in fact a secret option three and secret option three is Fortify. You'll notice here in the actions directory, you can see the name Fortify. Jetstream under the hood actually uses a package called Fortify to take care of all of this functionality. And you can actually use that package yourself if you want to have complete control over the front end, or maybe you're building an API and you don't even need a front end altogether. Just like Breeze and Jetstream, we can find information about this in Laravel's documentation. So if I go back in here, go to packages, you'll see a Fortify package. So by installing Laravel Fortify, we can take advantage of some of those extra features like the two-factor authentication, install it ourselves and put our own front end on it. So in summary then, when it comes to these starter kits and these authentication implementations, you do have quite a few different options when you're starting a new project, but each one does have a very specific use case. You have Breeze if you want something very similar to Laravel UI, you don't need all of the extra bells and whistles, and you don't really want to use any extra front-end frameworks. It is very much Laravel, Blade, and away you go. You've got Jetstream if you want all the bells and whistles, and maybe you want to learn one of these new front-end stacks, and it gives you the opportunity to do that. Or as a third option, you have Laravel Fortify. So you can get all of that extra functionality and build your own front-end if you need to. And what I will say as well is Laravel UI, I've mentioned it a couple of times, it does still work with Laravel 8. So you can go ahead just like you used to, install Laravel UI, and it will set up the authentication as it always has done. The only thing with that is that I don't think it's going to be supported moving forwards, especially as Breeze has come out as a natural progression to that. So I'd say use that with caution. But if you want a future proof your application, Breeze, Jetstream or Fortify are the way to go. So over the coming weeks, I have videos planned to go into a lot more detail with Breeze, Jetstream and Fortify, uh, setting them up, using them in example applications. So do watch out for those if you want to learn more about them. But for now, I'll catch you on the next one.